This week we are going to be taking you guys on a tour of Kefalonia which includes some of the most delicious food, the cutest towns and the most fascinating historical sites on the island. As our time on the Greek island of Kefalonia comes to an end, we wanted to share with you all of the best sights and secrets that the island has to offer. From the beautiful underground grotto of Melisane Cave to the quiet seaside town of Poros, there is so much to discover here in Kefalonia. Make sure that you don't miss out on anything during your visit to this paradise island with this complete guide to Kefalonia's top sites. If you are new around here and want to see more adventures, then hit that subscribe button and join the gang. But for now, let's check back into, well, just another day in our tragic old lives. Yeah, not good news lads. We've just got all the way up to the Melisani cave and realised that our back tyre is completely flat. Why does this keep happening to us? I don't know if it's a nail this time, like it was in Isle of Skye, but this happened before when we were in Bali and luckily we would, had just arrived back to the apartment when it happened, but we're literally on the other side of the island now, so I've got no idea what we're going to do. But that does not look very good. I think I had more than my fair share of half that croissant this Too morning. Too many gyros is your problem. I know. I think I had that many. I've had one. We did actually have a nice local come over and chat to us um, and then she disappeared off on the phone and then kind of said some stuff in Greek and walked away shaking her head. So I don't know if she's coming back to help us or if she's just cracking on with our day now. Hello Kalimera, um, my name's Campbell Kerr, I rented a scooter from yourself. Uh, we are over at the Melisani cave and our back tyre's flat. Yeah, we just arrived. Not a problem, it's a problem. there's a cafe here so we can just wait. Yeah, it's not a problem, not a problem, thank you. Never straightforward, is it? We'll be back in an hour with a truck to try and take it to the local garage, I think, but let's go and check out these caves where we'll be. So two adults for eight euros each. A lot cheaper than what I was expecting. Oh, it feels nice and cool down here. Oh, you got a breeze. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I would recommend trying to get here for opening time. It does open at half nine in the morning. Now we are a little bit delayed in getting in the queue, so it is quite busy now. But it's not as bad as it looks. Like the queue was actually starting to go around the building, but it's moved, I'd say, about 10 minutes. We've already paid for our tickets and we're down here. And hopefully it's not too much further to go. Excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. This looks absolutely incredible. Nothing like I've ever really seen before, I don't think. You can actually see the bottom, it's so clear. It must be about 10 or 15 metres deep. Unbelievable. Big sugar ring donut is still sitting there. I thought someone would nab that up. <laughs> what's, the, what's the size of your head? I thought you were going to say something insightful <laughs> about the cave tour. The cave tour, honestly, oh, that is one of the best things I think I've ever seen. It was like phenomenal. Yeah, I definitely think that was probably one of the most unique experiences oh, we've yeah. had. It's like. Yeah, I mean, we've seen sinkholes and things before, but I think to actually just go down into the cave and actually see how clear that water was. I know, was. Like, it, was it was unbelievably clear. Yeah, it's um, incredible. special, I think. All right, so the cave was a very, very good tour, but now it's time for back to reality. We're going to get a lift down into Sami, where the bike's going to get repaired, and then I guess we'll just take a little wander around. What was your name, sorry? Andreas. Andreas. I am okay. from Syros Island. Ah, Syros, okay. yeah. Yes. So where should we go for lunch in Sami? Ah, what do you want? Traditional food? Yes. 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 But vegetarian? You are vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. Both of you? Yeah. Like my dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Millennials. <laughs> That's a bit of a bargain, really, I'm not going to lie, for the fact that he's going to have to go and change the whole tyre. 50 euros is not too bad, but he's given us a recommendation as well for lunch, and he's told us it does good traditional veggie food. So we're going to go and check it out, and bonus is it's right by the sea. Where would you like to sit? This one. Right on the water. Oh my goodness, can you get a better view? All right, so I had ordered pita breads. Uh, I'm not sure if they misunderstood and brought me some garlic bread instead, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> it looks good garlic bread, doesn't it? We got some olives. 
Yum yum. You want olive? No. No, you don't like olives, do you? No, thanks. More for me then. You can have the olives now and the garlic. Mm, 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 mm. No deal. Mmm. That's just nice. Boom, is this split feed up hot? I think it's actually quite cool. Oh yeah. Look at that. So one of the things that we've chosen is a yellow split pea dip which has appeared to be sold out on a lot of menus we've looked at over the past few days so we're really keen to try it because it's obviously very popular. It kind of looks like a hummus crossed with mashed potato with some caramelised onions on top. I have no idea what to expect what it's going to taste like. I'm going to give it a go. It's like got a texture like hummus tastes like, I don't really know any other way to describe it than earthy. To be honest, I'm envisioning like a kind of scotch broth flavour, because obviously it's got lentils in it. I don't know if it's traditionally dipped in garlic bread, but you know, make do. It's nice. Mm. It is kind of like almost like scotch broth flavour, where yeah. it's just like the lentils. Mm. How about that? Nice, it? <laughs> Just when you think the day couldn't get any better. We've got a burst tyre, but I'm still in heaven. It's paradise here. Well, yes, yes. Ah, good, perfect timing. Anyway, yeah, okay. thank you so thank much. You very much. Thank you so much. If you've got any bike problems near Sammy, address is your man. Uh, what a gentleman. We continued our big adventure around the coast of Kefalonia, unsure of how we could fall in love with this island and its beautiful locals anymore. That was, of course, until we reached another seaside town to the south that completely took our breath away. So guys, we were just heading down along the coast to the side of Kefalonia that we've not actually visited before, and we stumbled across the cute little town of Paros. It is literally like, it looks like Amalfi Coast, but maybe 50 years ago when it wasn't actually that busy because it is just stunning and it is so quiet and it's so peaceful and it's just, it's heaven. How beautiful is this place, baby? Oh my goodness. It's just like, I'd say a little hidden gem because it's actually really quite quiet. I don't really know if it's maybe busier during the daytime, but there doesn't really seem to be like loads of hotels or anything. So it is very, very cute. The rest of our night consisted of falling even deeper in love with Greece, where we ate the best Greek food by the sea, such as fresh, delicious hummus and our first taste of vegan souvlaki. We even met more of the friendly Greek locals in what would become our new favourite place on the island. Oh, bless. She's so cute. I think this might be my favourite restaurant in the world. Honestly, like, this place is such a hidden gem. It is just... So peaceful. peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> it was peaceful. I promise it was. I know. And so that absolute Greek feast was only 27 euros. The best value I think we've actually had oh, since we arrived in Kefalonia. Delicious food, incredible view, great beer. It's yeah. definitely Paros. Poros is definitely my favourite place in Kefalonia, without a doubt. I'm just <laughs> sad it took us this long to actually find it. I know, me too. But well, there's one way that we can actually finish this off and make tonight even better, which is? Let's get in that sea. You go for a wee swim? Oh yeah. What a magical end to our night. Like honestly, I think, like I said before, Paros is, Poros is one of our favorite places in Kefalonia now. It's just, absolutely stunning. We have an hour long scooter ride all the way back to Argostoli and then a half hour ferry back to Luxury and we've got another big day tomorrow so we'll see you guys in the morning. Oh that was a long scooter ride. I can't feel my, my left bum cheek. It's about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, we've come all the way up to the cute little town of Fiscardo, right up the northern end of Kefalonia. And as we're driving along those pretty sketchy looking roads, we actually caught a glimpse of it in the distance and I'm getting major kind of ASOS vibes already. So the plan is that we're gonna head down into Fiscardo, check out, see what's what, and first things first, find some food because it's been a long day and I'm starving already. This place is like so cute. So many like seaside restaurants and it's just like in a nice little harbour curve. Look how many nice flowers there is. 
I just love the colours around here. It's reasonably quiet considering how nice a place it is. I thought it would be like very touristy, but at the moment it's actually not too busy. Alright, should we look for somewhere for lunch? Yes. It is, however, not cheap. What are we talking? Um, 16 euros risotto. Oof. I'm really going to miss being able to actually enjoy my meal with a view like that. It's just nowhere else in the world that I've been like this. Like this kind of consistently seaside harbour cafe with good food and incredible views. I know, I mean this place is one of the more expensive places but actually around like Zuri it's actually a bit cheap to sit on the seafront isn't it? Yes please. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was doing a good thing getting a mozzarella baguette, but now I'm seeing Gemma's, I am actually very jealous right now. That looks incredible, man. So what have you got? <laughs> very basic pancakes with what looks like Nutella, and I can't wait. And it's funny because I literally just said to Campbell this morning, oh, I could go pancakes. So when I saw it on the menu, perfect. Easy choice. Yeah. And I have gone for a mozzarella baguette, which has actually come with some really fancy, delicious looking potato wedges. But yeah, it looks very, very tasty. Oh, it's been a while. I know I said I didn't want much for my lunch, but this is just right. Content. Now, when it comes to the actual pricing of it, the baguette was a little bit more expensive, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get chips with it as well. So it was eight euros for the mozzarella baguette. The pancakes were four euros twenty, hence why Gemma got them because it's us. It's one of the cheaper options on the menu, and again, it's definitely worth the money. Okay, so my advice would be to come here early on in the morning if possible. There's just been a lot of cruise ships, well, not cruise ships, but like I guess day cruise ships that have arrived in, and there is so many people here now. When we arrived, it was not this busy at all. So I would definitely recommend that. If if you are wanting to come to Fiscardo and you don't want to be in amongst all the crowds that you come up a little bit earlier and um, it's now half past two I think we got here about half twelve one o'clock so there was no one here at that time but since in the past hour or so I'd say it's just been like boat after boat and so many people here now. So we've only actually got a couple of days left in Kefalonia now and I'm going to miss it so I think that one thing we need to do before we leave is finish it off with one very special activity. And so now we're down at Zolo Harbour because we're catching a water taxi across the, one of Kefalonia's most inaccessible beaches and it's called Fateri Beach. I'm very excited to go out there. Alright, shall we go and find somewhere to uh, just some sunbathing? Once you de-stone your shoe. <laughs> this is literally paradise. Yeah. This is beautiful, man. I can see why they say this is Catalonia's best beach. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so what's the plan? Relax. Feels like we've not done an awful lot of that. We've been running around all trip. So today we are just going to take some time to actually relax a little bit, chill out on the beach for a couple of hours and just enjoy it, soak up our last sort of 48 hours here in Kefalonia. I've got to say, I think Kefalonia is probably one of my favourite trips we've actually been on. It has just been such a nice, relaxing and quiet place to come to as much as we've been running around like headless chickens a lot of the time we've still found some days that we can just relax and spend some quality time just the two of us and i've just had such an incredible time so have i i think as well it's just been like a while since we've actually been on a trip like this like we were trying to think back to a time where we've been in like warm water in the sort of hot summer sunshine and i think we took it back to Possibly about five years ago. Possibly. Four, well, four or five years okay, ago. Apart from in, Bali, but I mean, Bali was about three or four years ago, so, it has, so it has been, been, a, been while. a good while. I just love it. It's, it's really nice here. I think it's one of Greece's like kind of hidden gems because it's just been so quiet the entire time. And yeah, I cannot recommend it enough. If you're looking for somewhere that's a bit off the map, Kefalonia is the place to go. So yeah, if you're wanting to head out to Thera, these guys are definitely the best ones because it was a little bit of a bumpy ride on the way back. Oh, but they're in full control. It's exactly. Fun, yeah, it was really good fun. Yeah.
Now I really don't think there is any better way to end this video than coming down to one of our favourite beaches that we've been to in Catalonia, which is Pitani Bay. All right, so full disclaimer, we have actually been here before. We came a couple of nights ago and we didn't actually vlog it because we weren't sure what to expect and it quickly turned into one of our favorite places we've actually been to. Now you just don't get a view much better than this, especially at sunset. The cliffs just tower over this little bay and it is just absolutely beautiful. It's like really choppy right now, so the waves are just crashing in over the shore and the sun's setting, there's a lovely golden light. Oh my goodness, right, I'm absolutely sweating, so just, use the puddles of sweat falling off my face. But we have gone for the orzo this time with some grilled vegetables through it, which we were hoping to get the vegetarian misaka, but unfortunately it's not, um, there's not any today. So we've gone for the vegetable orzo and this smells and looks absolutely delicious. So I'm thinking it's gonna be just as good a choice. Well, that was absolutely delicious. But I think I need to go in for a little cool off in the sea one last time before we leave here. Very much so. You're I am so, so good. <laughs> well, that is blooming delightful. How incredible is this? Oh, wow. I am absolutely going to miss Kefalonia. I'm not going to lie. It is just so incredible and so beautiful, and it's just been so good to us. But. We've got big adventures ahead though. Yep. Um, we're off the Amalfi Coast in two days time. I cannot wait. We've got a big busy day of packing tomorrow. <laughs> and yeah, if you like this video guys, make sure you give it a big thumbs up just to let us know that we're doing the right thing. And if you want to see more just like this one, hit the subscribe button and join the gang because we've got some incredible Italian adventures coming to you next week. And yeah, I guess we will see you in the next, in the next one. Video, if we don't sink here. I know, right. <laughs> Let's get sign us off before we drown. See ya. See ya.